When I hear a train whistle and hear that train rolling by, I am reminded of God's faithfulness. What do you think of when you hear a train whistle? Uh, maybe you think of the fact that you might have to be stopped and waiting in your car for that train to pass as it goes by and it goes by. Maybe you think of traveling places on the train. You wonder, why does it cost nearly as much to take the train as it does to take an airplane when the train is much slower? Maybe, like me, you wonder, can I get to somewhere where I can see this train go by? So besides just smiling, because I never outgrew just loving trains, when I hear the train whistle, I think of God's faithfulness. And, and that may seem weird to you, like, wait, what? What does a train whistle have to do with the faithfulness of God? But you see, I live, I live in Castle Rock, and, and I can walk the Riverfront Trail, and I do nearly every morning walk and pray on the Riverfront Trail. And in Castle Rock, there are two roads that go over the train tracks, and there's one place where the train tracks go across the road, which means when the train comes through town, our small town, it has to blow its horn, it has to blow its whistle. And almost every morning when I'm walking and praying, I hear that train whistle. And it reminds me of the faithfulness of God because it's always there. I don't know when it's gonna come. I don't know if it's gonna be a freight train or if it's gonna be the Amtrak. And granted, I could probably do like three and a half minutes of research. And with that research, I could know when the Amtrak runs through town. And I can make sure that I was out and then I was ready to hear that train whistle. But I haven't because I kind of like not knowing. I kind of like the fact that, that whenever I'm out and about in the city of Castle Rock and I hear that train go by, it says to me, God is faithful. I can't control God when he's gonna move or his timing, but I can trust that he will be faithful. Uh, in Exodus, we read of the Israelites crossing the river and they, they, they took the stones out of the river and they made a memorial after they crossed so that they could tell their kids and their kids about the faithfulness of God. Psalm 100 verse 5 says, For the Lord is good and his faithful love endures forever, his faithfulness through all generations. And I don't, I don't very often just go and sit by the train tracks and wait for the train. But maybe I should. Um, maybe I should just go and wait and watch. So I live in a pretty small town, Castle Rock, and besides being able to hear the train whistle from my walking path in the morning or the evening, I can also hear it from anywhere in town. And we live in town, which means I can hear it from my house. Those trains faithfully, day in and day out, moving freight and moving passengers. But sometimes I can go through a big part of my day over multiple days and not hear the train whistle. And it's not because the train's not running, but it's because I'm not listening for it. I think it's that way with God's faithfulness too. I can go through scenes in my life where I'm just completely unaware of ways that God is being faithful. And it's not that God isn't being faithful, it's that I'm not listening, or I'm not looking for the ways that God is faithful. See, in my office, in my house, in my yard, uh, at the Vault Books and Brew, my favorite coffee shop, because they serve ice cream, I can hear that train whistle. If I'm listening for that, I can hear it. I think it's the same with God's faithfulness. If I really slow down and pay attention and I look and I listen for ways that God has been faithful, they're always there. But am I taking the time to notice them? God is always faithful. I can't control it. I don't always understand it, but I can count on it. Thank you so much for checking out the video. If you liked it, you can smash the thumbs up button. Feel free to leave a comment down in the comment section. I hope you have a great day on your journey with Jesus. See you later, alligator.